to my channel. My name is Xenia Chopra and if you're wondering why I'm all dressed up in this bridal ethnic Indian jewelry, well that's because today's makeup tutorial is dedicated to the Indian festival called Karva Chauth, which is on the 27th of October. Now those of you who don't know about Karva Chauth, let me tell you a little bit. This is a festival which is celebrated all over India by married women where women fast all day from sunrise up until moonrise for the long life and healthy life of their husbands. So we will not drink a sip of water, not a drop of food, nothing all day. It's quite tough, but hey, it's all in the name of love, so it's okay. Anyway, so this makeup tutorial is dedicated to all my Indian followers who will be fasting for Karva Chauth for their husbands. I hope you enjoy this makeup tutorial. Also in this makeup tutorial, I use the Huda Beauty's Amethyst Obsessions palette to create this eye makeup look. And I also talk a little bit or sort of give a mini review and my thoughts on what I think about the palette, how it wears, the pigments, the colors, etc., etc. And not just that, I've also used the Huda Beauty's Overachiever Concealer, which just released last week. All of this in today's video. If you're intrigued in finding out more, then please keep watching. But before we jump into today's makeup tutorial, you guys know the drill. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. The links are all down below in the info box. And yes, while you're at it, why not hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any future videos that I do. Now I'm going to stop talking and let's just jump straight into today's video. Let's start off today's makeup tutorial using the exciting newly launched Huda Beauty goodies. So the foundation that I'm going to be using for this uh, makeup tutorial is Huda Beauty foundation but because I tend to find that it's quite drying and mattifying I like to go in with a moisturizing illuminating primer just to make sure that the foundation is not too matte and not too dry on my ever so dry skin already. So I'm going to take this Tom Ford's Illuminating Primer and I'm going to add a few pumps of this onto the back of my hand and mix it along with the foundation and then go and apply the foundation onto my face. The foundation that I'm using now is the Huda Beauty's 4 Filter Foundation and this is in the shade Amaretti that is 310G. And do you know what? I'm actually going to make a little concoction out of this foundation today. So I am also going to add a few drops of the Farsali's Rose Gold Elixir as well. Now we're going to blend this concoction together. This is what the concoction looks like and I'm just going to add this to my face. I'm going to take my Huda Beauty's foundation brush and buff the foundation onto my skin. Ta-da, the foundation is done and look, our skin looks glowy and not so mattified. So as you can see, I have already done my brows off camera and what we're going to do now is move straight on to the eyes. To start off the eyes, I need to prepare my eyelids with an eyeshadow primer and the one that I love to use is my Tarte's Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium. Now I'm going to take an Hourglasses concealer brush and just blend this concealer onto my eyelids. Okay, who is ready to play with the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions palette? Well, I certainly am. Are you? I should hope so. Oh my God, just look at these colors, you guys. Like how beautiful are the colors. So the first shade we're going to play with is this really pretty mauve pinky shade and that is the lightest shade in the palette. And I'm going to use this shade as the transition shade on a Morphe Y15 brush. I'm finding it a little bit hard to blend. Okay I'm going to change the brush and go in with a Morphe M330 brush instead. Okay, yeah, this is a lot better. And I'm going to bring this transition shade a lot higher than my natural crease because I have hooded eyes um, and in order for me to be able to see the color with my eyes wide open, I need to bring the transition shades and every other shade really a lot higher than my natural crease. So we're going to bring this somewhere or very close to my brow bone right around here. 
and again I'm going to bring it outwards as well and because again I have hooded eyes and smaller eyes if I bring the transition shade outwards then I tend to elongate my eye and give the illusion that I have a bigger and a wider eye. So I'm going to keep blending this basically diffusing out any harsh lines or edges. By going round and round in circular motions with your brush it will not only blend the eyeshadow but really diffuse out the edges. So the next thing we're going to do is dip into the slightly darker shade which is this one over here and I'm going to apply this shade just below where we've applied the first shade. And we're slowly going to build up the intensity of these shades and have create like a beautiful gradient effect. So starting off with the outer corner, again going in circular motions, and then I'm going to bring it over to the crease. So when I want to build up the color, I go back and forth like this, and then when I want to blend it, I'll go in circular motions. Okay, I think I'm happy with this shade as well. Again, it was pigmented and very easy to blend as well. Um, so now we're going to go with the darkest matte shade in the palette, which is this one over here. And I'm going to go on a Morphe M507 brush, which is still a dense brush, but it's uh, very pointy and slim. So it's easier to get into the crease. So again, I'm going to start off by just patting the shade on my outer corner. I want to see how intense the pigment is. It's not as dark as it is in the pan. I'm going to keep trying to build this up. Hmm. It's quite patchy if you can see here. I'm going to try to use a denser brush. This is the Sigma E40 brush. Let's see what happens with this. Slightly better, but it's a little bit difficult to blend. Just don't like this patchiness on the outer corners. I'm really trying to press the shade to get the maximum pigment that I want. Yeah, it's not too bad with a thicker blending brush, but it was a little bit difficult to blend compared to the first two shades, which were very easy to blend. And of course the pigment was amazing as well. Um, it's not the end of the world for me. I mean, I still think that the palette is gorgeous. Um, and I want to see how the rest of the shades perform, especially the shimmer shades. The next shade, I want to go into some shimmer. So I'm going to take this brightest pink purpley shade over here um, and apply that to the inner one third of my eyes. And the brush that I'm using to apply this shimmer shade is the one that came with the Naked palette. This is such a pretty color. And again, very pigmented, easy to pick up and easy to apply. By the way, I have to say this, there is hardly any fallout on my pan and none on my face either. So that's really good. Okay, I'm going to go in now with the deepest, darkest aubergine purple shade over here and pick that up on a Morphe M421 brush and add it to the area where I have no eyeshadow. I'm also going to add this shade over here and add that towards the outer corners just to see if that will darken up the outer corners a little bit more. But the brush that I'm using is a 16 pp brush by Inglot. I'm really just patting the shade onto the outer corners. Okay, there's a little bit fallout with this shade. If you can see over here, it's very little. Um, you know, it's not too bad. So what I'm going to do now is tight line my upper waterline. And to do that, I'm going to be using my ever so favorite Marc Jacobs highliner pencil in the shade Taboo. So I'm happy with how the eyes are looking. Yes, there's a little bit of fallout around here, not so much here at all, but we will clean that up once we go in with a concealer. Um, what I'm going to do now is coat my lashes with some mascara. This is the Benefits Bad Girl Bang Mascara. You guys know I absolutely love this mascara and ever since I've got this, I haven't really used any other mascara to be fair. Okay, time to go in with some lashes and the lashes that I'm going to be wearing today are by Huda Beauty as well. These are the Samantha lashes by Huda Beauty. So it's time to apply some concealer under our eyes and today we are going to be trying the newly launched Huda Beauty Concealer, the Overachiever Concealer. And the shade that I've picked up is 12G. 
sugar biscuit. I love the packaging of this concealer, especially because it comes with this nozzle type thing, which is when you just touch it under your eyes, it gives quite a cooling effect. So if you have puffy eyes, this can also help in de-puffing. And I'm just gonna pat, pat, pat. Going to apply it in the usual areas, which is of course under my eyes, my chin, just around my mouth and also on the on my forehead. So along with this concealer launch, uh, Huda also released this concealer brush. Just like all her other brushes, uh, this is also a double-ended brush. So I'm going to take the concealer end of this concealer brush, which is called Conceal and Blend, and just blend out my concealer. I'm going to just use this side to blend the concealer. my god wow what is this sorcery <gasps> I'm going to wipe off this concealer just to show you guys the difference and then reapply it again let me just blend this my god just look at the difference look at this side without any concealer look at my grays and then voila, look at this side. Okay, better add some of that to my left eye as well. Guys, I can't believe how pigmented this concealer is. This brush also honestly makes the application so much easier. And do you know what? You could actually use this brush as uh, to apply your setting powder as well, which is what I'm going to do next. And I'm just going to take this Huda Beauty's Easy Bake Powder in the shade Banana Bread. I'm not baking my under eyes, I'm just setting them. I thought I was not gonna bake, but I'm just gonna let it sit there for maybe two minutes. In the meantime, oh yes, there is something else we need to try as well, babies. We are also going to try the Huda Beauty Concealer in the shade Hazelnut 32G as a contour today. Anyways, I'm going to use my uh, Zoeva's 109 face paint brush to blend this. Very easy to blend. I'm loving the shade because I really like like a dark contour because I have such chubby cheeks. So I think this shade is really good. And I may have applied a lot of product. You probably only needed like one dot. But if you guys don't like as dark a contour as me, of course there are lighter shades as well that you can pick from. So this is the Zoeva's 105 Luxe Highlight Brush. I'm just going to use this to blend in the contour. Blending so easily. I'm gonna take some more of that concealer and add it to the bridge of my nose. Okay, so I'm going to dip into the first two shades that we used. Um, on a pencil brush. This is the MAX 219 pencil brush. And then I'm going to dip back into this purple shade and apply that very close to my lower lash line. Oh, I am so loving how this look is turning out. Okay, so to almost finish off the eyes, I am going to go into this shade and apply it to the inner corners of my eyes. And to do that, I am picking the shade up on Izueva's 238 Luxe Precise Shader Brush. This shade, look at just, just look at this shade. Okay, let's just go in with some mascara and coat our lower lashes with it. Moving on to the blush and the highlight, we are going to be using another Huda Beauty product today. This is the Huda Beauty's Golden Sands 3D Highlighter Palette. So first I'm going to pick up the shade Zanzibar and add that to the apples of my cheeks. For the highlight, I'm going to first apply the shade Fiji and then top it up with some Seychelles. Oh yeah. And now going in with Seychelles. <laughs> wow, look at that. And finally for the lips, I'm going to go with another Huda Beauty product, in fact two products. So one is the liquid matte lipstick in the shade Material Girl 
and then I'm going to top it up with the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe in Fearless. So this is the finished makeup look all together with the bindi, all my Indian jewelry and everything else. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this Karva Chot inspired makeup tutorial. If you did, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up. Now I'm going to say goodbye and take your leave and hopefully see you all next week when I'm back with yet another makeup tutorial. Till then you guys know what to do, be good, Take care of yourselves, miss me, well, at least a little bit. And I'll see you all next week. Mwah. Bye.